The Molnicka Z-Flow Fluidized Positioner facilitates developmental positioning for infants while helping reduction of pressure ulcers by offloading of bony prominences. This video demonstrates the use of full body positioner to position a baby in supine, lateral and prone positions. The full body positioner comes in multiple sizes and appropriate size should be chosen to support each patient individually. Begin with the positioner flat and inside the cover. Straps are attached to the positioner cover to ensure easy access when needed. Make an indentation for the baby's head towards the top of the positioner. Place the neonate in the center of the positioner horizontally and towards the top of the positioner vertically. Begin molding the positioner around the baby's body, keeping one hand between the positioner and the infant. Start from the side away from you followed by the side closer to you. The positioner should conform closely to the baby's body. Bring the strap closest to the chest up and across the cradle that you've created. Wrap it around and tuck under the positioner to secure. The straps will help the positioner hold its contained shape in the incubator. Use your hand to cup the baby's feet and mold the bottom of the positioner up to encase the leg. Making a small crease at the molding point will make it easier to create a boundary with the positioner. Bring it up to cocoon the feet and legs, making sure it doesn't crowd the infant's feet. Finally, wrap the second strap around the positioner's length to hold the bottom of the positioner in place. Mold the positioner around baby's head to offload the occiput and support the head while making sure that breathing is not obstructed. If needed, use your thumb or finger to create a depression to hollow under the ears and accommodate breathing tubes or other medical equipment. The straps can be used full width or folded in half to achieve a narrower band for improved exposure. Begin with the positioner flat and inside the cover. Place the infant on the positioner with the head towards the top. Rather than centering the baby horizontally, it should have about two-thirds of the positioner on the back side of the baby. Mold the positioner around the head to ensure head is supported and breathing is not obstructed. With your hand between the baby and the positioner, create a boundary along the back. Mold the shorter side up to create another side boundary towards the baby's front. Bring the strap closest to the chest up and across the cradle that you've created. Wrap it around and tuck under the positioner to secure. The straps will help the positioner hold its contained shape in the incubator. While cupping the infant's feet with one hand, mold the positioner up to encase the feet area. Secure the bottom of the positioner with a strap ensuring the feet are not crowded by the positioner. Mold the positioner to conform closely to the baby's body. Depress the positioner around the front of the head so the face area is clear. Use your thumb or finger to create a depression to hollow under the ears and accommodate breathing tubes or other medical equipment. For prone positioning using the full body positioner, there are two options. Option one, using additional small positioner as a prone roll. For prone positioning, begin with the larger positioner flat. Use your hand to create an indented area in the center of the positioner that is the size of the small positioner. This indentation should be centered horizontally, but more towards the top end of the positioner vertically. Place the small positioner in the indentation. Place the infant on its stomach on the smaller positioner with the baby's umbilicus at the bottom border of the positioner so that hip flexion is encouraged. Mold the small positioner to support the body ensuring that the shoulders are able to go around the prone roll. If needed, make a small indentation for the knees, allowing the knees to bend and hips to flex. Mold the small positioner to support the body and to ensure that shoulders are rounded around it. With your hand between the baby and the large positioner, mold the positioner around the baby's sides. Wrap with the top strap.
While cupping the infant's feet with one hand, mold the positioner up to encase the feet area. Secure the bottom of the positioner with a strap along positioner's length, ensuring the positioner does not crowd the patient's feet. Mold the positioner around baby's head to support the head while making sure that breathing is not obstructed. If needed, use your thumb or finger to create a depression to hollow under the ears and accommodate breathing tubes or other medical equipment. Depress the positioner around the front of the head so the face area is clear. Option 2. For prone positioning without the additional small positioner. To build a prone roll in the center of the positioner, place a hand on the positioner spaced slightly larger than desired prone roll. Gently push down and in to create the desired width and length of the prone roll. Place baby on the prone roll, aligning the shoulder and hips. Make an indentation for the baby's knees. For prone positioning after the baby is already on the positioner, place hands on both sides of baby, approximately one inch away from baby. Gently push down and into the positioner with hands to create the prone roll. Adjust the width of prone roll so that the shoulders are rounded around it. If needed, make an indentation for the knees allowing the knees to bend and hips to flex. Mold the positioner around the baby's body starting from the side away from you, followed by the side closer to you. The positioner should conform closely to the body. Bring the strap closest to the chest up and across the borders that you've created. Wrap it around and under the positioner to secure. While cupping baby's feet, making a small crease to ease bending and create an encasement for the legs by raising a boundary from the bottom of the positioner. Wrap the second strap around the bottom of the positioner and secure. Mold the positioner to conform closely to the baby's body. Depress the positioner around the front of the head so the face area is clear. Using your finger, create a small indentation for the down-facing ear. Finish by ensuring that the head is well supported and breathing is not obstructed. Neonatal positioners can be remolded to allow for routine or medically necessary position changes. When the patient's medical condition allows for it, begin by removing the infant from the positioner. Remove the small positioner if using and smooth out with your hands. Folding the positioner in half will help attain a flat surface. Set the small positioner aside and fold the full body positioner in half, then smooth out. Note, never use the folded positioner for positioning as it becomes very firm when folded. If the patient is in a minimum stimulation environment, you may need to have a team member elevate and hold the baby while a colleague uses the flat part of their hands to flatten out the positioner. Positioners can be cleaned based upon your facility's protocols. Positioners are for single patient use only, but can accompany the patient to different care settings.